I changed up the example from the previous video just so we have one triangle. I eliminated two of our vertices. Our, I put one up here, one up here, and one up here, and then I just said, hey, connect vertices 0, 1, and 2 to give us a single triangle. I got kind of tired of the, the upside down, down triangle. Now, if you're pretty keen or alert or paying close attention to detail here, in the last video I said that this color we output from the vertex shader gets sent to the fragment shader. Well, how many times does the vertex shader execute? In the case of this triangle, there's only three, one, two, three vertices. Thus, the vertex shader will only execute three times. But how many times does the fragment shader execute? Well, it executes once per fragment. And in this case, there's, there's lots of fragments in the triangle. If you put your face up close to the screen like I'm doing right now, you can see lots of fragments. And if I grab the corner of the window, we're going to cover up even more fragments, pixels, if you would. Again, I'm kind of waving my hand and calling fragments and pixels the, the same thing, even though they're not. For now, that's, that's all we care about. But huh, the fragment shader runs many more times than the vertex shader. Yet I said this color outputs, right? It comes, it comes in right here, goes out right there, out and comes in right here. Well, if this runs three times, and this runs a whole ton of times, how does the hardware know what value to pass to what fragment shader? Okay, say I said, I said this, this vertex was blue, and and then this vertex is green, and and. This vertex is red right there. Well, which fragments are going to get red? Which one is going to get green? Which one is going to get... Well, I'll tell you what the hardware does. It interpolates between the values. There's a key term, interpolates. In fact, I have some videos on LERP, L-E-R-P, linear interpolation. It's very similar to what the hardware does. It interpolates, or another key word is it blends between the values. All right, so let me bring this... this pipeline thing back up. I, I, I was kind of waving my hands here. When when we send other data through, out from the vertex shader, the hardware does an interpolation. I'll say interp, interpolation. Right, or blends. Okay, Another good word for it is it blends the values together. How can we see that? Well, let me, let me show you. Let's actually change our vertex colors. This one will be red. Uh, let's change this one to green, though. So all green, no red. And then let's take out the red from the third one and say, you're going to be all blue. All right, let's close the program. Control F5. And voila, there you go. All right, can you see it? That's actually kind of pretty. Kind of pretty. Our red vertex was right up here. Our green vertex, you can see all the way out here, it's... It's very green, and then all the way out here, it's very blue. And then in between, it's an interpolation or a blend of the three colors. You can see as we walk this line here, let's just walk this edge. We're really blue, really blue, a little bit more red, a little bit more red, but mostly blue, mostly blue. And then somewhere in here, we're halfway between red and blue. We get this kind of purple look. You see all that purple right there? That's pretty. And then as we go further and further, we're losing our blue and becoming more and more red, more and more red, more and more red. I highly encourage you to go watch my linear interpolation videos, my LERP, L-E-R-P, LERP videos to help you understand how values, the colors or vectors, if you think about colors, they're just vectors, can interpolate from one to the other. Here we go. We're red. We're green. All right, we're lots of red, but we're getting a little bit green, but mostly red, mostly red. Here, way, here, kind of halfway between green and red. Looks a little brownish. Going to eventually all green. You see all these pixels? They're pretty hardcore green. And then same thing between green and blue. And then right here in the middle is a nice mixture there. So there you go. The hardware does that all for us. Okay, the, the values I pass out from my vertex shader are not passed... Uh, or it's sent out right here. It's not passed as is to the fragment shader. In between being sent out from the vertex shader, the fragment shader, our other data is interpolated. And we can actually tell OpenGL how we want our data to interpolate, and we'll see that in future videos. But now I just want you to understand that, hey, there's an interpolation process. We get much better looking triangles that way, so on and so forth.